good Tuesday morning, everyone, Mount Off Church family. Everybody joins us online for our devotions throughout the week. Uh, good to be with you this morning. We're going to continue on in Isaiah uh, chapter 53 is what we're working on this week. Hope you caught the pastor's uh, devotion for Monday. Hope you caught his sermon Sunday. Um, if you haven't, it's online. Go back, watch that. Um, man, such a such a powerful message that the Lord moved the animal. Get my screen up here. Uh, so we're continuing on uh, 53. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, continuing on chapter 53. Uh, the verse I've got this week is going to be uh, verse 3 out of this chapter. And you can see I have on the screen here, he was despised and rejected. Uh, we'll get into that scripture here in just a second. Do you know what it feels like to be rejected? Um, have you ever have you ever been rejected? Maybe maybe some of you all never have. Um, I've been rejected a lot. Um, you know, over the years, I, I still aggravate Chastity and tell her she she rejected me for a long time uh, when I was when I was trying to get her to go out with me uh, back when we were young, twenty uh, six seven years ago. Uh, not that I, now I, I know when we were married, we're married 25 years this coming September. So 26 or 27 years ago, she rejected me a little bit. So you can ask her about that. Um, but anyway, um, so what's it like to be rejected? You know, it hurts the other night, our youth group, uh, you know, sometimes when, when they're done with class, they'll, um, they'll do different things we have for the last year or so. And, uh, they'll play ball and everything. So there was this one night that we all got done with with uh, our our class that night. The last part of uh, being together on a Wednesday or Sunday night. I don't remember when it was. And this has been some time back. And they decided they wanted to all play ball. And they, they begged me to play. Uh, you know, come on, Jody, play with us. And so I said, sure, I, I will. And, you know, we got 20-some kids in there. And they're all dividing up. We made a couple of captains and uh, I can't remember. Maybe Isaiah was one of them and Logan was the other one. I don't remember, but we made a couple captains and they started picking teams and, you know, we were going to have four or five different teams, I guess, that night divided up. And so they start going through and they start picking and picking. And, you know, I know they're going to pick the, the basketball players first and the athletes first. And, you know, they start going through there and, some of them, they didn't even pick athletes and basketball players. They're going to pick their close buddies, you know, their friends, even if they don't know how to play. And, you know, I'm standing over here thinking, I, you know, I used to be pretty decent at, at basketball years ago and, um, and and played high school ball and stuff. And they kept going through and going through and going through. Um, you know, we got up to like 20-some people, and I'm still standing over there. And <clears throat> I was kind of like the odd man. You know, maybe we had 21, and they looked and said, well – you all can have him. Then the other team said, no, you all can have him. And and then I said, well, you know what? It's just make teams uneven. I'll just sit on the bleachers. And, you know, I was really, really just rejected that night. Um, so, yeah, that's the way the teenagers do their youth leader. Um, all that might have been just a little bit of a joke, but sometimes they do reject me. Um, so let's get into this scripture. Uh, just wanted to share a little story with you. So here's the the scripture. I've got some things highlighted here. Won't be just a minute or two. Um, it says he is despised. <clears throat> he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. I want you to really, really get a picture here of what this verse is talking about and Christ being rejected and, and what the prophet's saying. And he's talking about the rejection that he went through of all men, even us, even us. And I really want you to get a picture here of, of just the um, talking about the cross and where that's leading to. And just, uh, I, th I think maybe the pastor even mentioned Sunday, you know, of, of Isaiah 53 being the heartbeat of the gospel. I, I, I think he said that. Um, if not, maybe the Lord gave that to me. But, um, but we think about this verse here and we talk about, and we look at just how rejected Christ was. He was despised and rejected of men. You know, I, I read I read a note today that, that said he was a suffering servant. I wrote it down here, a suffering servant. And before we were saved, we couldn't care less. 
And his love for us gives us Romans 5, 8. But God commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. But he was rejected, rejected of men, a man of sorrows. He knew our pain. He knew what pain was. And as the pastor talked Sunday and he talked about being at the whipping post and the lashes that he took and the beating that he took, he knew what sorrow was and he was acquainted with grief. Let me skip over here. I'm getting ahead of my notes here. But he was acquainted with grief and he come to know and to understand. And it was all upon him, our spiritual sickness and our griefs and our sorrows and all that being put upon him. And then it gets to the end of it here and it says, and he was despised and we esteemed him not. So when you esteem someone, you hold them in a high regard or a high respect or you admire them. And you know, before we're saved, that, that just doesn't happen. Um, before we're saved and before we know that personal relationship uh, that Christ has for us, when we come to that knowledge of, of knowing Christ in a personal way and him being Lord of our life, we begin to understand the rejection that he went through. We begin to, not not that we fully know it, but we begin, begin to see a little bit of it. We begin to understand the rejection and we begin to see where we have rejected him leading up to that. We begin to see where we have forsaken him and we begin to see his love for us. And then we begin to hold him in a high regard, in a high respect, and we begin to admire him for what he done for us. That verse is just so, so powerful. I want to tell you this. Christ was acquainted with our griefs. He knows our sorrows. He knows our spiritual sicknesses and the things we went through. So I also want to leave, leave you with this. And, and it's something that's been on my mind the last couple of days. Sometimes when we've failed God and we've let God down, we got to give that to him. We got to give that to him and quit picking it back up. I'm going to quit doing that. I'm going to quit picking that back up. And I'm going to hold him in a high regard, in a high admiration, in a high respect for what he has done for me and what the cross represented. It paid for that. It paid for that mistakes. It was a substitution for Jody. It was a substitution for you. So hold him in a high regard today. Know that he loves you. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Uh, love on one another. Pray for those that need it. And just keep on keeping on. Love you guys.